Hey guys, it's Peter Cunha, New Jersey real estate giant. I wanted to shoot a quick video. A lot of things that people ask me that aren't from Monmouth County, New Jersey um, are regarding the topic of schools. I did a little bit of uh, investigating. Um, there are some things that to consider uh, when looking at some of these rankings. Um, are you looking purely for education? You know, uh, diversity might be a big thing for you as well. Um, so, you know, do your own due diligence, but I wanted to kind of tap into a few things that I came up with. Uh, U.S. News actually ranked New Jersey as the number one state for schools uh, for pre-kindergarten to 12th grade um, for the school upcoming school year 2023. Um, kind of some quick facts here. There's 191 uh, public schools that serve just under 100,000 students uh, in Monmouth County alone. There's 124 private schools that serve just under 19,000 private students. 84% uh, of all K through 12 students in Monmouth County, New Jersey, are educated in public schools compared to the New, New Jersey average of 87. Um, and just to give you the top ranked public schools in Monmouth County, um, these are kind of on the high school level, but you have biotech high, uh, you have communications high, um, high tech right here in Lincroft where I live and their overall testing rank is based on the school's combined math and reading proficiency test scores just to keep that in mind um, New Jersey Monmouth County New Jersey public schools have on average a math proficiency score of about 51 percent uh, versus the New Jersey public school average which is 44 percent so you'll see that schools are just higher uh, overall and the reading proficiency is 63% versus 57%, uh, you know, for the rest of the state. So, you know, um, one of the things that's interesting is that there's 53 different municipalities here in Monmouth County. Um, we do have different locations, you know, everywhere from what I'd call north to northeast Monmouth County to the south or southern tip, uh, you know, right around Belmar. But it's a beautiful place to live. If you're looking to learn more about schools, moving your family down here from either up north or from other parts of the country. It's a wonderful uh, place to raise a family. Um, one thing to just consider, it's not the cheapest place to live either. So um, feel free to call me with any questions, comment in the uh, section below, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.